Hello guys, so we are back in Finland now as we see like uh, we are sitting here in our home but I should tell you about the story what we faced in Lebanon. So what happened is as you already know from my previous stories that we hired a rental car and we went to Temple of Bachus and from there we took the road to Juonia. So what happened to us is like when we were coming back to Juonia that time the google took the another route so we went to from beirut to temple of bachus is like the highway all the time but while coming back uh, there was a ski resort that was planned in our itinerary so we started moving there but uh, all we see like you you have seen it in my previous stories that it was totally a uh, vacated uh, way and there was a god forbidden route and no car we were seeing so we went to towards the point that point that uh, one military army came and let us know that there is no other like there is no further way so you should go back so that took us like around two hours is wasted because one hour we went there and one hour for coming back two hours wasted and it was already getting dark by then when we came back to the original point from where we started but this time we took the another way because we were moving towards Juana, Juonia instead of uh, Beirut so and then that route also like there were no one in the way and we even saw like we haven't seen any car on the way was coming towards us or like passing us but at point at some point of time after like going few hours after it was getting dark it was already dark by then and then we saw another car so we got relieved that okay finally we saw one car was going so we, we discussed like okay maybe now this time we are going in a correct route that some car at least we are seeing but that car for that car headlight was not on that was kind of a striking for us why he was driving like that way but then we started uh, getting close to that car and we saw that car is like driving very slow so just we passed that car and went forward now after we passed that car then the car like switched on all the lights and tried to chase us like and that time he was like uh, uh, beeping his headlight and uh, just trying to aware us or trying to like uh, get the attention of us and he just crossed us in a very like fast way he just crossed us and he was like beeping his light and uh, asking us to stop but we didn't stop because it was already dark and it was kind of a jungle and mountain route together like it was on the hill and there we, we couldn't see anything other than the trees and there is no human being so we didn't get the courage to stop and we then passed the car again and this time i drove fast so that that car could not chase us but maybe he is a professional mountain driver and i am not but like i tried to drive as fast as i can but it was a very hilly road and then that car chased us again and it was like the chasing was happening for a very long time maybe like half an hour we are going like this maybe more than half an hour we are going like this sometimes i am going forward sometimes he is going forward and this was happening the race was happening for a very very long time so one day we decided that uh, how how long we can like do like this we sh there should be some ending so we we thought like we saw one store one store was just uh, maybe five kilometers behind us so we thought that uh, maybe we can go back to that store point if that car again chased us and go back to the old point that store point then we will definitely be sure that the intention of that car is very wrong with us so what we did we just take a u-turn and go back to the store and there we stopped within two minutes that car came and then that time he like he was asking to like uh, down our uh, windows mirror uh, window screens so we just pull it down and then he started asking us questions like uh, why you crossed me why are you uh, driving that fast why are you running away 
this kind of question then we said sorry sorry uh, because i thought maybe there can be two options one is that car is trying to rob us second option can be a male ego that a woman is driving and crossing her but chances were very less with that even i thought like it is a simple phase of robbing us but still if there is one percent of chance i just said sorry sorry and i was just doing like this i will not cross you again and then that time he said like from where you are coming we said india but uh, he didn't thought that uh, we can be a total tourist but uh, because there were there were no tourists in Lebanon at this point of time when the war is going on so generally he also thought that we can be local like uh, Indian who is living in uh, Lebanon so we told him a lie that we are coming from uh, Beirut so that he thinks like we are not a tourist at all but uh, we are kind of a uh, local so uh, then he said uh, okay go but another point is that in beirut we have seen local people speak minimum english but in this car there were two person one person was young who was driving the car he doesn't speak english one person who was sitting next to him who is like a english speaking person but not like very good english but at least he was able to communicate and we were talking with him only then we um, said sorry and then we just try to go away from there again now we started our journey again after 10 minutes we saw that car is like chasing us and this time he was driving very fast and he was just cornered me and it was a total downhill and he just crossed the car our car and parked his car in the middle of the road and opened two window and uh, because so that we cannot cross him because two windows from both the sides were open and then we couldn't cross him and we also had to stop at that point and uh, from that car this time three people came out so one was two person was there already but another person maybe they got it from the store itself because that is also in the local region so may they must be know each other or something might be happen now we don't know so this time three people came one was like sit, standing just outside my window one was uh, Kostup's uh, window standing and one person was standing back so that I cannot go at the back as well so that he was like protecting the car from the back so this time what I did like uh, with the instinct I just put a back gear and I just tried to run away from the other way and just and that person that time maybe got a little scared because he didn't expect that i can go in the reverse direction and i try i can go to that extent so i'm luckily what happened when i did that and at the same time another car was coming from the front because uh, it was very lucky incident for us because we haven't seen a car maybe one and half hour now we finally seen a car is coming from the front because city was very near around five kilometer we could see the city lights but that five kilometer is so far for us for now because we that car was coming so these three person got scared and uh, they immediately got into their car and they just tried to run away from the spot and uh, then uh, uh, we just stopped that car who was coming from the front and told him that this person are trying to rob us please help and unfortunately that person doesn't speak english at all so we just imitated kind of playing dumb charade like this person is trying to kill us please help help and another car came in between so there were two cars now so another car came and stopped because that car was stopped so another car also stopped so these two person is like i'm very thankful with for these two person he also stopped and then we told because this person the another car person he speaks english so we told him that that car is chasing for a long time and please help because they are trying to rob us or their intention we don't know 
they are very harmful for us please help please help then he told like i am a police you don't scare about these things you i am giving you my number you just call me whenever you see that person is bothering you just call me but we requested him if you can just escort us for um, maybe five kilometers city then because city light we could see like if he can follow us for five kilometers then we can easily run away from him but uh, then he didn't agree to do that because uh, in his car also he was going with family he might be police but he was going with family and his wife was pregnant and uh, maybe he didn't wanted to involve into this hassle so that is totally fine but he stopped that is like uh, that is very good for us because in in the meantime that car came uh, to check whether why we are not coming and then he saw that two cars stopped and he maybe got a little scared for that incident that two cars already know about that incident and he took a u-turn and was waiting for us then we again started from there and as we already anticipated after like maybe one kilometer we drove we saw that car is waiting for us again and we were just trying to do very go very slowly in this time so that we were thinking if another car came came so that exactly what happened so one when we were going slowly and maintaining a distance with that car another car came from another route and that car we just intentionally pass and so let uh, him pass and so my car that another car and then the the car who, who is bothering us so these three cars were going towards the highway and in the meantime after two three kilometers the exit for the highway came so that car maybe thought that we will take the highway and he also did the same so he took the highway that middle car he also took the highway and we also had to supposed to take the highway but we intentionally didn't take the highway so that the chain grates break so we took the straight way towards jungle and maybe after two kilometers we again took a u-turn and took the highway because that car immediately cannot come back once we take the highway you have to go some like two three kilometers or and then you can get the exit you can not immediately come back so there the chain gets break and then we took uh, the highway after few kilometers we stopped intentionally for a fuel recharge and then maybe that also helped to get the break uh, get the chain break and then finally we didn't see that car uh, after like we we charge our fuel so that was the incident that happened now my take uh, in this is i would highly recommend that uh, you should not take a rental car or you should not go by your own uh, if you are uh, going in those kind of countries you should always book a guided tour uh, first of all maybe there are very less crazy people are there who will go to Lebanon because there are many other countries but Lebanon is a beautiful country it's a very scenic country and there are a lot of spots to visit and it's a good country also because no country is bad is the people who can make it bad but people why they are doing such things that is also has a background because the current condition is not so good the economy of the country is not in a great position so people has less money in their hand and they are trying to like they are forced to do mistakes and do this kind of things so when as a tourist you will visit you should always take a guided tour because then you it is lot safer we usually take this kind of rental car thing because we wanted to explore the country by our own when you go for a guided tour that time what happens is you really can't explore a country because you don't mix with the common people you don't face these challenges maybe we thought that we love the challenges but at the end i'll say maybe we have a story to tell our like lot of people but maybe this kind of incident could be better if we don't face it so uh, my recommendation is go for a guided tour in this middle east country